Hello, this is PJ, and we are here for our daily lectionary readings. As we get into this time of the season, we have two paths that we could choose. We could choose the semi-continuous path, or we can consider the complementary path. For myself, I am going to choose the complementary path. That is the path that we have been on previously. It helps us as far as focus in on what we heard at church on Sunday, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It helps prepare us for the upcoming worship service. So complimentary, here we go. We still have three readings. Psalm 130 will be our psalm reading. Isaiah 28, 9 through 13 will be our Old Testament reading. And 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 7 through 19 will be our New Testament reading. Hear these words out of the New Revised Standard Version. Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should make inquiries, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be reverent. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in his words, I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is greater power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. The Old Testament reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 28 verses 9 through 13 hear these words whom will he teach knowledge and to whom will he explain the message those who are weaned from milk those taken from the breast for it is the precept upon precept precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little, there a little. Truly, with stammering lip and with alien tongue, he will speak to his people, to whom he had said, This is rest. Give rest to the weary. And this is the response. Yet they would not hear. Therefore, the word of the Lord will be to them. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here is a little, there a little. In order that they may go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of First Peter, chapter 4, verses 7 through 19. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourself for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain the constant love for one another. For love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you have received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Now, beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that is taking place among you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice insofar as you are sharing in Christ's suffering so that you may also be glad and shout for joy when the glory is revealed. 
If you are revealed, reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed. Because the spirit of the glory, which is the spirit of God, is resting upon you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, a criminal, or even as a mischief and make girt. Yet, if any of you suffer as Christian, do not consider it a disgrace, but glorify God, because you bear this name. For the time has come for judgment to begin with the household of God. If it begins with us, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinners? Therefore, let those who are suffering in accordance with God's will entrust themselves to a faithful creator while continuing to do good. And here ends our readings for the day.